Hey, what is up guys? This is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And today in this video, I'm gonna talk about the Valentine of the like February 2019 for us. And of course, if you are talking about Valentine, that must be like there must be something regarding stock Android. Well, today in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Pixel Experience ROM based on Android Pie on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And this is the 10th February 2019 build on the device. And I have been using this ROM for a couple of days now like maybe three days so I have to say the ROM has improved quite a lot but still there are no customizations this is pure stock Android experience while like which you get in like most pixel devices so let me show you what are the things like which are like working pretty fine over here first of all let's talk about the stock camera over here the stock camera is the Mi A2's camera of course and you get this portrait mode and stuff over here. Everything works super fine regarding this Mi A2's camera. I have zero complaints regarding the stock camera as with stock Android and optimized MIUI camera everything seems super fine. But over here disappointment is that we have no camera to API by default over here. So you do not like you cannot install the Pixel 3 cameras over here. Let me just show you by opening this manual camera compatibility test app and as you can see everything is red and crossed over here so you can't simply install the Pixel 3 cameras over here. That's a disappointment but yeah you can flash magic and stuff if you really want to like install Pixel 3 camera on this ROM. Just enable camera to API and that's how everything should be working fine regarding the Pixel 3 cameras or the Google camera and over here. The ROM feels super smooth as you can see and we have the Google Now cards to the left. Let me show you the launcher settings over here. This is how it looks like and everything is like pretty similar to like how it used to. We have the basic pixel launcher over here. No customizations at all even on the launcher. There are a, like few of them like suggestions and stuff like the stock Android stuff is present over here. Let me just go back. Another thing is there are no double tap to sleep on the home screen of course and you can't even swipe down to get the quick settings panel quickly. So that's how it is and yes I know it feels weird we do not get any kind of customizations in this ROM. Let me just go into the settings and let's go over here to the bottom and here we have the about section outside of system. Let me just go to about so that I can show you the android version. Here as you can see we have the android 9 pi of course. Let me just go back quickly. And the security patch level is the latest one, the February 5th, 2019. And the kernel version is Derp 4.7 pixel experience kernel and build number is present over here, you can see. So that's how it is regarding the about section. We have the systems option over here. Even in the system, we do not get any kind of camera to API toggle. And we do have the system updater over here so that you can check for updates whenever a new update is available. And inside gestures, we have the swipe up home gesture. With this, you can just like always swipe all the way up to get the app drawer, or you can swipe a little bit to get the recent panel. So of course, the stock feature of Android Pie. Let me just go back here. Let me just go into the security here. You will see one interesting thing. And that is if, if you go into this lock screen preference, you will see this automatic face unlock option. So we do have face unlock over here and that just works super fine. Let me just show you by setting it up. So inside smart lock, we have this trusted face. And of course, because it's the pixel experience ROM, you do not have to flash any kind of G apps. So you just have to flash just the ROM file. You do not have to flash any separate G apps. So face unlock and stuff like options are available over here. Let me just set it up quickly. So I did set up my face unlock. Let me just go back now. Let's go home. Let's try to unlock the device and boom, as you can see, the face unlock does work and it even does this auto face unlock option and seems pretty good over here. As you can see, it unlocks the phone pretty much right away. So this is a pretty cool feature and let me just show you the fingerprint scanner speed. Of course, the first time it did not unlock because I misplaced my finger. So this is how it is. The fingerprint scanner speed is pretty damn fast. No issues whatsoever, but it's quite not as fast as like other custom ROMs like Liquid Remix, I guess. And here is the quick settings panel. Over here, we have the nightlight and stuff and this just works super fine. And if you just tap and hold it, you can control the intensity of the nightlight too. And let me just go back. 
over here you can add more stuff if you want to like invert colors and stuff hotspot and stuff is there yes hotspot does work super fine over here and we even get the like 5 gigahertz hotspot band over here as you can see so there are no issues regarding hotspot let me just go into the settings again so that i can show you the display settings here we have the font size and stuff but note that we do not have any kind of like accent color changing option over here yeah that might be not really useful for a lot of you guys but that's how it is we have the device theme option so that you can change it to automatic light or dark so if you change it to dark let me just show you as you can see the whole ui turns dark and even the quick toggles panel over here turns dark so that's how it is let me just go back to automatic and over here we have the double tap to wake option but there are no double tap to sleep at all overall in the ui so that is again one disappointment and the battery life is pretty good i'll like stick some screenshots over here of the battery life i got but overall the battery life seems pretty good for me let me just go back now let me just quickly go into the sound settings over here and let me tell you that there are no audio direct option of course over here so no huge like crazy customizations at all over here the sound profile over here is flat and it's pretty good i have no complaints regarding that but there are no audio enhancer or the headphone like kind of customizations like you get with the audio dirac so that is how it is and right now it's not available over here in this rom and one thing that really disappoints me is the like you can't really disable the screenshot sound over here so as you can see my phone is right now in silent mode kind of and if i try to click a screenshot as you can see it keeps doing this kind of like screenshot capturing sound so this is pretty annoying for me but and that's how it is and even i i saw one problem again that if i plug in my headphones i do not see any kind of headphones icon i know i can fix it like with the launcher and something like by installing nova launcher i guess so by installing those and like going to the customizations of it you can fix it i guess but over here by default you can't really fix it whenever you plug in your headphone you can't really see the icon over here so do keep that in mind and if you're into google pay well let me tell you that google pay is working super fine no issues whatsoever you can just directly like uh, set up your google pay right after you flash the rom so that is pretty cool and the stock wallpaper over here looks pretty cool you can change the wallpapers of course from here so you can go to just this pixel option and you have bunch of options for these kind of wallpapers over here so these are pretty cool features of this pixel experience rom and the rom really feels super smooth let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the ram management of this rom So I have opened couple of apps and let me open like all the apps from the memory again. So Twitter is kind of like white so it reloaded kind of. Let me just open all the apps again. So as you can see all the apps are in memory and everything seems super fluid over here. no issues whatsoever so the app open up speeds and and it does this kind of like animation over here if you are noticing so these android pie kind of animations seems pretty cool to me and volty calls and stuff does work too over here but the in call ui does not have the call recording option so if you need those just keep that in mind that this rom does not have those kind of things and this is pure stock android kind of rom so and it's holding up pretty good if you do not need any kind of customizations and if you want to run pure stock android pi on your redmi note 5 pro this is one perfect rom for you and regarding gaming performance let me just show you by playing pubg that how is the gaming performance of this rom so here as you can see you can play pubg at hd on high settings no hdr option is available of course but we have the hd and high settings over here and like whenever you select smooth or something you can play at high that's the maximum settings you can play with this game and let me just start a match so as you can see the gameplay seems pretty smooth over here in the lobby of course but we'll see when we get into the actual game
So as you can see the gameplay seems pretty good over here. No issues whatsoever regarding like too much lags or something. So everything is fine. So that is how it is pretty good gaming performance over here I'm getting. So no issues whatsoever regarding PUBG's gameplay. And over here this is the Antutu benchmark score. So if you want any kind of customization just go with other ROMs like Liquid Remix or something or even like the Siberia Fan Edition if you want to. But Pixel Experience is a great ROM for people who want stock Android on the Redmi Note 5 Pro or like any other device. So it's great that this ROM is available for our beloved Redmi Note 5 Pro and this ROM is holding up pretty good over here even right now. So that is pretty much it guys that is all I had to say regarding this ROM. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Bye bye now.